So in the shop today, we got a Boss CS3 and uh, a JHS modded Boss CS3. The user accidentally plugged in the wrong wall warp. So what we're going to do is figure out if this thing turns on. Let's hook it up to 9 volts. Okay, and then we're going to put this in the input here. And no turning on or turning off. Okay, so this thing is totally dead. Totally dead. So I suspect that there's probably something wrong. Obviously, with the power section. Okay, good thing to note is this thing is totally through hole components, which is always nice when you're trying to, to fix these things. Let's see what we got here. We've got power coming in from there. It's going to, it looks like 16. So there are uh, wires going onto the board here. And the red wire there can see it from all the way up there is uh is wire number 16 it's numbered so we're just gonna follow that trace it's the third one in and looks like the first thing it runs into is this diode right here D1 so that's interesting the diode's interesting there um, in fact, it kind of looks a little corroded at the top there, so I think I might want to, I think I might want to just replace that diode for now. Looks like the JHS mod involved uh, the ACA conversion. ACA, so this is an ACA pedal, and there are mods out there that basically convert the ACA versions of these Boss pedals to PSA, which basically just says we're going to take out. In this case, this diode and this resistor, D10 and R32, and just jumper um, two of the two of the areas, two of the um, vias. So yeah, we're gonna look at the schematic and see what we can find. Okay, so we're looking for a Boss CS3 schematic, and what I found here was uh, this hand-drawn one, and it has the same that 2159 chip that I saw on. That one, it seems like it's the correct one, but there's no component designations on it except for like some of these ICs and the Q, the, the transistors and stuff. So what I am going to actually look at, this one seems a little bit more, um, a little bit more my style. Here we go. And let's just open this in another tab and zoom in so you guys can see it. Oh, look, it's already zoomed in. 200. Okay, perfect. Okay. The first thing we can know is this D10 and this R32. And one of the things that JHS does in the Hi-Fi mod is it converts it to the Boss PSA. They take these two components out and they just short this side of the R32 and this side of D10 with a short little jumper wire. But that's digressing. What we're really interested in is this D1 here. So D1 is the reverse polarity protection diode for this design and usually when you plug in a reverse polarity um, power adapter and it cuts out or it doesn't turn on anymore usually this diode is the culprit and that's basically its job its job is to fail so that the rest of your circuit board doesn't fail so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna replace that with another diode to serve the same purpose uh, that diode model number is a 1N4001 uh, for those who care. So, yeah, we're going to do that right now.
now for the moment of truth. Back. 